true innovation. New technologies, new materials. It brings us further day after day. Our bikes are more technologically advanced and aerodynamic than ever before. We've never pushed harder or gone faster. But what about your first line of defense? Is your helmet today protecting any better than 20 years ago? One accident can have life-changing consequences. Helmets reduce the probability and severity of skull fractures and traumatic brain injuries. The probability of suffering a skull fracture correlates with the maximum deceleration of the head during an impact. In the European and American safety standards, the maximum allowed values are 250 and 300 G. At 250 G, you have a 40% risk of suffering a skull fracture, and at 300 G, the risk almost doubles to 79%. Some impacts last longer than others, and to evaluate the total energy transfer to your brain during an impact, a metric called the Head Injury Criterion, or HIC, was developed. Research from the car industry has shown that HIC correlates with the risk of suffering severe traumatic brain injuries. Shockingly, the maximum allowed HIC value for European motorcycle helmets is 2,400, allowing an almost 97% risk of suffering a severe traumatic brain injury at the reference impact velocity and the 77% risk that the injury is fatal. So how much deceleration can your skull or brain really take? I have spent over 40 years analyzing automotive accident data and developing safety systems. I developed these risk curves together with Dr. Mertz to evaluate the likelihood of someone suffering severe head injuries like a skull fracture or traumatic brain injury. The curves have been used by the U.S. Department of Transportation to set acceptance criteria for head injuries in several crash standards. They are also used in car safety programs around the world and have also been revalidated recently. The HIC limit of 2400 in the motorcycle helmet is way too high. If a pedestrian is hit by a car, we allow a maximum HIC of 1000. If the same person falls off his bike, HIC 2400 is allowed. It just doesn't make sense. And worst of all, it leads to too many severe head injuries and fatalities. Technologies have progressed and innovation materials allows us to manage these risks far better than in the past. Improving helmet safety is about how well you can manage the impact energy. Coroid is an advanced core material from the aerospace industry which manages energy in a radically different way to existing energy absorbers. Current materials have been empirically derived from those used in the packaging industry, and the helmet safety standards reflect this. Coroy tackles helmet design with a completely different approach. We have engineered the most efficient material for energy absorption, which offers significantly lower risks of injuries. Our core is constructed through a unique extrusion and thermal welding process, creating a fully breathable and lightweight structure. During an impact, the coroid tubes homogeneously collapse. And as the material is crumpling, the energy is being attenuated, minimizing the energy transfer to the rider. The principles are exactly the same as a crash absorber in a car. Inside cycle and motorcycle helmets, we have already been able to reduce the maximum deceleration of the reference impact velocities to less than 183 g, which correlates with a less than 5% risk of suffering a skull fracture. At the same time, the maximum HIC was reduced to less than 1666, correlating with a less than 5% risk of suffering a fatal traumatic brain injury without increasing the helmet liner thickness. To compare the performance, we installed the covered core inside a high-end EPS-based motorcycle helmet. In comparison with having an EPS liner, the choroid material reduced the maximum deceleration for this impact by 32% and the HIC value by 58%. And while 32% reduction already is sizable, the correlated risk of suffering a skull fracture or a fatal traumatic brain injury reduces dramatically for this impact down to less than 1%. It's time to innovate and build these next generation helmets. Helmets that comply with voluntary lower limits so we can reduce injury severities and save many lives. At Coroid, we have the technology to help manufacturers achieve this. Hopefully one day, the risks of suffering severe head injuries in various sports activities can be as low as when riding a car. Till that time, 
This helmet safety initiative with these voluntary lower limits for deceleration and HIC is a major step in the right direction that will improve rider safety very significantly. It's been over 20 years that many of these standards have been put in place. It's time to re-evaluate the helmet standard and put it at a level where a technology can allow. Reduction in peak G, reduction in HIC, reduction in risk of injury. This is not complicated.